Hello, welcome back. It's a blue baby run. I don't like blue baby. You don't like blue baby. We all don't like blue baby. Let's just get on with it. How do you make the blue baby run work well? Well, for a start, we go in for that because it gives us five bombs. And we hope that, that will give us something from here. We've got two more bombs and a spirit heart back. So we spent maybe a small amount of points for six bombs. Worth it? I'd say it might be worth it. Another bomb. This is going to be a bomb central run then, I guess. Again, I don't know whether these, uh, the, the challenge runs, the daily challenge runs, are pulled from maybe a pool of challenge types. Uh, e.g. If you play... M Ooh, a dime. If you play most of the, uh, the normal challenges, you'll find that... Oh, that was just stupid. Although they're seeded, and therefore a different run each time, they have different rules. Otherwise it wouldn't be a challenge. There is the set of rules that makes them a challenge. So I wonder whether these challenge runs are drawn from a pool of special rules that make them sort of, in this case, bomb heavy. Obviously yesterday's was uh, a tribute to the Nintendo chap whose name I forget, uh, who died, was it last year? Recently anyway. It was his birthday. The uh, key is nice. If we can get more coins, I'd like to go to the shop. Um, but that was obviously special, so maybe it doesn't quite count so much. But there is precedent for runs having themes, and perhaps the daily challenge runs have sometimes got a set of themes. If you recall a while ago, there was an Isaac run where every single boss item was a bloody health upgrade. And we wasted a reroll because we didn't want it, and it just turned into itself. So, I mean, that seems like a fairly clear idea, uh, clear indicator that we can get themed runs. Well, I haven't got enough brain power to both talk about themed runs and concentrate on this son of a bitch flying around trying to hit me. Just charges at you. He's relentless. He's out of control. At least we know when he's going to die. Because he explodes into pieces when he dies, and that's a... Uh, a bit unfortunate. Into shops, I mean. So we want to be out of the way when he does that, but still. Maybe we'll get a uh, proper Steven? No, just little Steven. But little Steven is at least something. <laughs> it's an upgrade. Uh, we should probably make a move. We're going as far as that looks like Isaac. <laughs> We're going as far as Isaac. This is a blue baby run. And you've seen me on blue baby runs. It's not like the Lilith run that we did recently. If you recall that, Lilith was a new character. We did a Lilith run and it was terrible. Ooh, that was a nice haul though. But this is Blue Baby. Blue Baby's been around a long time. It's the only gimmick of Blue Baby is the type of HP you can get, which is <laughs> crippling, to say the least. So, Personally, I think I've kind of got the hang of Lilith. I've already beaten Greed Mode as Lilith on my other run. So Lilith went from, oh my god, I can't cope with this, to, oh, I'm pretty good at this. Here in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let me out. Let's use the fire. Use the fire. Can I use the fire? Make use of the fire. Here we go. Yes. Oh, god. Help. <laughs> Whereas Blue Baby, I'm never going to get used to it. Because... I've had every opportunity I possibly can to get good at Blue Baby. It's just not happening. And I think it's uh, it's to do with technical skill, which is something I've talked about in the past, and something I lack quite clearly, um, is simply the ability to not take damage. I mean, that was a, a very good room, considering, considering his playing. Uh, yes, we will absolutely, definitely, and 100% take this. And even though it gives everybody the same advantage, everyone has the same advantage, so... If everyone else has got the advantage, I should have it too. What does Jar of Flies do? Every time you kill an enemy, you get a fly in your Jar of Flies. There's another Tinted Drop. And we've got a golden key, so we could open this and we can get more keys. This is great. Uh, and then when you press the spacebar, your flies come out. So if we can get a Hive Mind, this is going to be a great synergy. 
Um, if we can get BFFs, that would be a decent synergy. It's a little Steven. Can be reasonably good with a BFFs pickup. Further into the late game, we do have to get as far as Isaac, which means we have to be powerful enough not to die before we get to Isaac. Now, that could... that Well, that tends to either be you get an amazing run or you die. And it's not... This is actually really good right now. Krampus? Not Krampus. Ah, now this is a decision. Let's think about this. Three spirit hearts gets his ability to fly and nothing else. Or an incubus, which does the same um, tier that we do, again. But it will be slightly further back. With BFFs, this is probably better. With Blue Baby, this is probably better. I'm going to take this and hope that we start doing really well in terms of tier effects. Because the Incubus pickup here is... That's that's a, a room where I guess 50% of people would make a different decision. It's it's not an obvious pickup decision at all. Uh, in fact, it could have been that I took neither and went with an Angel room uh, run, which is also an option. I expect some people have done that. What was I talking about before I got rudely interrupted by that decision? Well, wow, pretty slow. Yeah. I think it's not because we're going to be sort of concerned for our ability to beat Isaac that means we either have a boring run or an amazingly over-the-top powerful run. It's more the slog of getting that far. Um, if you if you don't have an amazingly entertaining run, you have to beat Isaac with just normal-ish tier effects, maybe a couple of stat upgrades. If you, you can obviously cross a threshold whereby you're doing enough damage that you don't have to worry about the fact that you can take damage to Blue Baby, which I think we're already across, at least for this stage of the game. I feel like we're a lot more powerful now than we were last time we did the Blue Baby run, when we just sort of shat the bed, threw our toys out of the pram. The Incubus pickup has definitely helped. But... In order to get as far as Isaac can feel good about it, and feel good to have a competitive advantage, don't forget, this is a daily run. Yesterday when we did that crazy reroll, I did say we're here to enjoy ourselves, not to be competitively amazing at the game. But I don't want to be stupidly bad at the game just because I'd rather, you know, faff around and have fun. We still want to do boss rush, we still want to do hush, which is also going to be difficult with, wow, well, careful, poor tears. Um, it's not like we can just capitulate. <laughs> I really don't like these particular turrets. I know we can hit them when they're down, but... You know, kick a guy when he's down. I'd like to be able to get into these cursed rooms, but... There's really no opportunity to do so. That's the thing that Flight could have given us. If we'd taken Flight and halved the cost of these cursed rooms... Maybe we could have picked up something truly spectacular in those. Um, ceremonial robes for Blue Baby is obviously amazing because of the three spirit, well, the black hearts I think that you get for picking it up. I heard a coin. There is a coin. This is uh, just a normal sized floor, so shouldn't worry too much about exploration. Uh, but then again, I could be avoiding uh, sort of a lifetime of torture by making myself go into all these half heart costing spirit rooms and uh, curse rooms and finding that they have no benefit for us, so... Ooh, gonna have to watch some other people and see how they've played it. I've successfully not taken very much damage, we should probably start using more bombs because there's a lot of things in our way right here. I have nine of them because this has turned out to be bomb heavier run. A uh, chest with coins. Worth going back to the shop though. We've got 20 flies, I should definitely remember about these flies because obviously they're gonna be a huge benefit to us. They can certainly help clear a reasonably large room. Polycephalus. Polycephalus should be no problem, and it's already nearly been no problem, and I don't think we actually hit it with our own tears. That's how good a run, uh, 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 a fight that was. We didn't need tears to do it. So, little Steven is lagging behind a little bit. Decent pickup for the first floor. Not so great for the third floor. That's fine. It was the first floor, right? I think so. Let's see if we can find our shop, see if we can find our item room, see if we can not get hit by those, which just about succeeded. I've grown... Incubus has grown on me since playing Lilith so much. Obviously Lilith's strength with Incubus is 
Oh, we did find the item room, so that's okay. I will take this. And I should probably take this just for the sake of taking it. We've got plenty of keys. We don't need those. Don't really want to spend a bomb on that money. Mostly for time concerns rather than... You know. Uh, rather than the fact we don't need the money. Three extra coins might be nice, but who cares, right? Yeah, Incubus. Lilith, I've got the hang of it, so... Learning to control the Incubus as we have. Certainly, um... Ooh! Just don't ask. Just take it as it is. <laughs> There's a blessing. There's a curse room here, a narrow one. I've got this High Priestess card, which we should probably think about using. We'll take this straight. Oh, it's Telepills. Well, if we'd known... Oh, do you know what? Since we're here, get rid of all of this stuff. Plenty of money. Blue Baby's soul? Well, I've got my own soul. Uh, we do need to be a little bit faster, in my opinion, but not significantly so. We can do this boss trap room, I think, without worrying too much about it. I just move too far. Uh, I don't think I want to. Yeah, I do. We can use High Priestess on one of the bosses that we don't like. Like this one. Boom. That's half the health nearly done. And Mega Fatty, as Northern Lion often points out, is a good indicator of how much damage you're doing because Mega Fatty is quite tanky. Obviously, we had some help with the first half of that fight, but uh, you could just tell by how fast the HP went down, how well we were doing. And another key. Yeah, it took some dumb damage getting out of that little maze there, but it, can't, it can be helped, but I didn't help it. Incubus one step behind actually seems reasonably decent. Oh, seriously? You give me able? Why did I even take it? Let's see what's in here. Um, having that bit of extra gap between you and Incubus gives you more control over where it ends up, which I think is worthwhile. And if you don't think it's worthwhile, well, I hope you can structure your argument with a plum. Anything good in here? Nope. <laughs> I went for that because, ooh, BFFs is exactly what I mentioned when we first started off. So now you can see that our Incubus shots are going to be better than our own shots, because they're always going to be our own shots plus a bit. We should take this. If we get some more cash, we should come back, however. Careful. So Incubus BFFs seems like a great pickup. Obviously, Lilith has the book of the box, the box of friends. Help! How did I not get hit? Just don't, don't question it. We've said this. Um, which makes wait what? Oh, blue baby soul and Abel, <laughs> which makes um, Incubus amazing because the recharging on the item during a long room like the boss, the, the boss rush is. Splendid. Guppy. I mean, we don't want to keep it, because the jar of flies, in my opinion, is much better. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Um, so if we can pick up Box of Friends as well, that would be super good. To so have a box of BFFs <laughs> would be really, really uh, powerful, I believe. And um, we've done Gurdy Fight stupidly before, but with Incubus being basically one and a half times as damaging as we are ourselves. And actually hitting, and um, this is good. And um, Krampus? Hmm, no. Also, I don't really want either of these, so it's a good thing I can't afford them. Or rather, it's a good thing I don't want either of those because I can't afford them. We could go back and get whatever it was I said we should get. That card. Uh, yeah, we'll go back and get that card. It's through here. And there's a key here, which I didn't spot. Careful. <laughs> what am I getting? Oh, prize bombs, of course. Two of diamonds, yes. This is definitely worth keeping hold of. Glitter bombs uh, produce consumables every so often. Oops, I didn't mean to come in here. Some part of me was on autopilot, and it was a part of me that should not have been on autopilot. I think it was the navigation part. We don't really care to look for a second secret room. We care to get out of here just in time. Two of Diamonds could be very good for us just at the end of the game if we can manage to save up enough money to make it worthwhile. We should do these rooms that have a look, that overlook the uh, terminals so that we can see where we're going. We can avoid terminal rooms by not doing them, uh, 
because we can see them, but we should definitely explore a bit. Right, we're going really fast now. Thanks, in no small part, to BFFs uh, with uh, help. <laughs> um, incubus. But I'd very much like to see how this works with some amazing tier effects, such as EUG, for example. Ah, oh, we should do that. Um, flies. <laughs> That's no use. You're killing yourselves. Uh, Death's touch. Wow, uh, a tiny little uh, brimstone at this stage would be sweet, wouldn't it? I mean, little brims incubus with brimstone is basically a little brimstone, except for the fact that it's as powerful as you are, rather than as powerful as little brimstone is. So we had one of those that was even more powerful than we are. Oh, it's Krampus in a tiny room. Help! I have no chance to survive! <laughs> wow, that was really, really bad. However, we're out, so okay. We'll keep this. I wanted to keep the two of diamonds card, so I just use that straight away. It's just, it's done. Blind rage. I don't know what this does. We should keep it and see if we can figure it out. The reason we go to these terminals, by the way, is in case one of them's our uh, item room, which it turned out to be. What is this? Game breaking bug. Power pill. Well, we know there's a power pill. Power pill can be very useful. But we do need to start going mm, faster. I don't really want that. <laughs> So we should find the boss, and it's probably this direction. Excuse me. No idea what game breaking bug does. I don't know if it's a benefit to us or if it's just cost us points. Uh, however, we have it. So here's the power of Incubus: is that you can leave it in a position like this, where you're safe. Having it slightly further behind and with Lilith is like when you have more than one with Lilith, and you can have them all over the place. We've seen the power of uh, Incubus in various different positions, thanks to Lilith being able to put Incubus in various different work positions. Uh, and I think I'm a fan of having it slightly further behind. It's not like Lil Brimstone, where having it as close to you as possible is valuable because you can keep track of it. Yeah, we should just try and make most out of this. Uh, try and get this floor open done with ASAP. Uh, no, thank you. I do not want these. So that we've got enough time to breathe on the next floor and still be able to make boss rush. Now, yesterday's boss rush, if you recall... Um, oh, we've seen that. Uh, was not great because of the reroll. We spent a long time in it. Ah, oh, no rerolls. Okay. Good. That's useful. That's not useful. Let's leave and come back. That's not useful either. Oh, fuck. I tried to run away and I stood on a spike in doing so. We got our HP back, so that's okay. Don't really care to try for the rest of them. We should look for our shop and item room. What does this do? Anyone? It is a poker chip. So that's all I know. Mm, no. Yes. It's a boss trap room. Points are more valuable than the room. This is not telepills, it's addictive. This is pretty fly. I'm getting better at Megamore. Which uh, encourages me. I used to be terrible at Megamore, but the watching the gaps method of not taking damage seems to be working out for me. method of dodging, I mean. So I think we should try and save up 20, 20 flies. Oh, another pretty fly. Not what I meant, but... Not invaluable. Well. Now, you see, invaluable does not mean not valuable. Just like inflammable does not mean not flammable. Uninflammable? Uninvaluable? No, oh, now I've got... Beelzebub. Now we can fly. Ah, we well thought it was called Lord of the Flies, but it's actually called Beelzebub. We might as well take this then, don't we? And we can get into here for free. Which gets us uh, some decent cards, maybe. Let's see. The Hierophant. Yes. And two of diamonds. So we'll use one of the two of diamonds, and we'll keep the other one with us. And we'll go look for our shop. I'm not massively overly concerned about the uh, fact that there's a key in that other room that we can now get. 
Uh, I'd rather make sure we can actually finish this room uh, floor in time. There's a diamond there. That's really good. Every single penny we pick up is two pennies until we choose to use the two of diamonds. We've got two orbitals now. Plus, uh, plus the defensive ones, which is uh, the pretty fly pickups. In fact, uh, where's the other one? There it is. Thanks to the ball of bandages. There you go. We'll just use it. I don't want to keep hold of it. It's going to have to be this way then. Oh, we're running out of time, actually. So, I thought we were in plenty of time, but because of these rooms, I'm going to use my flies. Uh, I'd rather get through these rooms quickly than... Pick it up. <laughs> Shot. Ah, his box friends! Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what I asked for. Go. <laughs> Leave. Hurry up. I'm hoping this is going to be amazing. Ah, oh, we can't afford to do it. We've got 40 seconds. There's a tinted rock. It didn't have an HP in it. We want an HP. You bastard. Quick, do damage. Use your orbitals. Excellent. Very good. Ow. Good matter. Uh, permanent power of invincibility. We've got plenty of time. Don't worry. Uh, we want... Neither of these? I'm going to say neither of these. I should have used my two of diamonds before I took... Ooh, chocolate milk. Um. Hello? I should have used my two of diamonds before I picked up the box of friends, but I was in a rush and definitely wanted to make boss rush because... I know it's... I know we're not playing for points necessarily, but I still like to do well. I'm not a fool. Uh, box of friends in boss rush is stupidly valuable. Which is why I've made my efforts to take it, even though every two waves we get another one of each. And of course, they're all doing extra. Now, I'm doing the charged up damage from chocolate milk, and there I just walked over it. And we've got three, game, four game breaking bugs. Which, if it doesn't start breaking the game soon, I'm gonna be a little bit salty. We've got a second level, a fourth level uh, bandage girl here. Where is the thing that I'm supposed to be shooting? Oh, <laughs> you're here, are you? What a dick. That didn't last very long at all. We've got a little horn. We had a little horn. I don't even need to know what I'm shooting, I just keep firing. Oh, it does help to know so that you don't accidentally walk into something that's going to fly in from the side of the screen. Look at all these bullets! Unfortunately, we're going to find ourselves feeling very weak. Oh, jeez. When it's over, we've got five orbitals. Six orbitals. I'm reasonably sure this was not how the game was meant to be played. Talk about game-breaking bugs. It's not even a bug. It's part of the game. It's just an item. And I don't have to not hang out over the rocks because I don't even need um I don't even need spectral tears, I can just let everything else do all the damage. Let your incubi do the talking. And another one. And keep out of the way. Look at these tears. This is tap shooting, look. I can tap shoot with chocolate milk. Every single Incubus is doing one and a half times the amount of damage I'm doing with my own tears, and I don't even need them because I'm not Lilith and I can use my own tears. Oh, careful. Pin on his adventure there. And another one. I guess you can tell how long Boss Rush has been going by how many familiars you've managed to rack up for yourself. Let's see if we can get rid of this before it... Oh, confuses me with that attack. I hate that attack. I'd also be very grateful if something would drop some HP that I can make use of, because despite being ridiculously powerful and over the top, or rather perhaps as a result of being ridiculously powerful and over the top, I find myself fucking up royally a lot. Oh, that's a gurgling. Uh, just presumably I'm just am assuming that I'm not going to die, but I'm being hit a lot, which is very silly. Uh, nothing in here. We should go. So we left behind the flies. The flies, I think, were doing really well for us. 
like that, we can, of course, fly ourselves. But... I was supposed to be able to abyss Lord of the Flies, actually, now I think about it. Uh, the BFF uh, Incubus pickup doubling doubling our BFF Incubus thingy is a lot more valuable, in my opinion. I'm expecting the boss not to be over here. However, I'm going this way anyway. There is a mob trap room. That was a very fast boss rush compared to yesterday's, but then we did tailor this run to be powerful rather than re-rolling it to be random. So there is that going for us. Uh, we should do this. It's not like we're going to fail, right? What's the worst that could happen? Loki. Chub. Thanks for playing. Fistula. Didn't last long. Tap shooting is really helping because the tap shots from the Incubus is, is are still really powerful even though they're just tap shots. Tap shots from ourselves, not that great. <laughs> Curse stream, you say? Interesting. Is it worth it, do you think? There is a guppy chance on this run simply because we picked up Guppy's head a while ago. Oh uh, no. I'm going to say no because there's two deals with the devil left and if they don't have one then we're going to feel vindicate, vindic vindicated. We're going to feel vinegarated that uh, we don't need to do that room. Vinegarated that we didn't take it. And if there is one or two in there, then you know, so be it. Life goes on. I lay out the EGOES are in. You got more money than guppy opportunities, my friend. Where are these things? Stop disappearing. Good. Uh, we should do this room. Just on principle. I would like to maybe find some more tinted drops. Ah, oh, I'm not really. Whoa, you're not dead. I'm not really paying attention enough. We should definitely check here. Check, check, check. I don't see any actually. Very much expect to see one. It's not our day, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, probably secret room, if I had to guess, which I do because I have no map. Well, I have a map. I don't have a compass, though. I don't have a blue map. Blue map's what I uh, would need to not guess. No tinted rock in here, either. Rough. No chance. wonder if uh, BFF Able is any good. I actually did get hit by Roth, so... Just fuck me, I guess. That was pretty nice. When we were both in line, one charged chocolate milk shot took one thing out, and then the one behind it took the other thing out. Probably want to start using bombs against the bloke. Uh, nope. When it jumps, thank you. If it's about to jump on top of you in a position where you're going to be sad, use chocolate milk. We should take this, um, mostly because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm taking some dumb damage and we're quite close to death. We do get permanent Polaroid invincibility every time we get hit, but at the same time, it's not that valuable because we can only get hit a couple of times and it doesn't last very long. Just kind of hoping for a spirit heart from those, but I suppose it is what it is. There's another one here, let's just blow it up. This BFF Incubus is splendid, it's tremendous, splendiferous. Very much enjoying it. It can come back. It's invited again. Anytime it wants. Yep, got it. No spirit high in there that I saw. But some other stuff we can pick up. We really don't need this two of diamonds, but I'm keeping hold of it. What are we gonna do with it, huh? Don't hit me. I think we're going to get to 99 cents before it's even a concern. We've got 27 keys, so the push lobby is not a concern. Tap shoot the crap out of this. And then we just need to not die on uh, the mom's heart. Oh, you were not dead. Contrary to my consideration, which is that you were dead. Don't really care for that. We just need to get a press on, really. We've still got three minutes to find the mom fight, but if it's not where I think it is, we're about to die. <laughs> Help. Uh, then we're going to have a lot of backtracking. Spirit Hut? Spirit Hut? No. 
spirit heart in here. Uh, I could die. I won't fib. That's standard blue baby. Look, this has been the blue baby run since the run started. It's not like we've re-rolled into it or died with the ankh or anything. Blue baby runs do not last long when I'm in control of them. It's just a fact of life. You know, death taxes and blue baby runs. I'm going to try not to die. I'm not going to... I don't feel like saying I might die at this... Why did that change into a... Oh, the game breaking bug replaced it. Do it again. <laughs> you bastard. I needed that. Okay, whatever. Let's put one here and one here. Oh, really? No super secret room now. Alright, well, just don't get hit. You know, we didn't... We were all into a blue baby run. We've always been blue baby. We just have to not die. Can we manage that? Yes. Can I manage that? No. <laughs> Yes. Right. Not Krampus. No. But we can't take it. Alas. Because it doesn't give us HP straight away. Unfortunately, it would be very survivable in future. But we can't use it now. Let's go down to Hush. We'd probably die on Hush. Hush is difficult. You've seen Hush. If we do die on Hush, then I can feel proud that I got as far as I did as Blue Baby. I was very, very tempted not to even bother uh, with this. Simply because I don't like it. Blue baby is hard. Capricorn is absolutely what we want here. We should, we're already in the hush fight. We don't need to be quick. We've got another HP. Uh, <laughs> this one. Evil Eye I think is good. I think it's okay. It's hardly gonna you know, knock us out of the park. But... It is what it is. We should probably take this. And this. And blow you up. For Red Heart. Not valuable. If we die here, we die here. We don't have a respawn. Um, so... Just nice knowing you, I guess. We've got a great range, actually. And all the flies that this blue baby fight will produce are going to be on our side. As a result of Beelzebub. Uh, but I'm not sure how that works with the flies. So, ooh, the hush uh, produces. I guess we'll see. If all those flies are... How did you... I got hit at the very last second. Did you see that? If all those flies that hush produces turn out to also be on our side, that's going to be extremely valuable. It looks like we did pick up one fly. Oh, we should use this. Why didn't I use this before? Ah, uh, good question. If it's true that the hush is calibrated by the blue baby fight, then it's valuable to do less damage at the start of it than you were doing during it. We should get some bombs in there because we've got so many, that's why I was thinking. Also, if it's true that the hush has armor and requires you to... Let's use this. Uh, requires you to help <laughs> change the way you damage it, then by changing the way we damage it, we have fulfilled that by using bombs. That's what I mean. Ah, I'm concentrating very much right now. Ah, the nightlight, of course, is helping us avoid these bullets because we can slow them down by shining a light on them. Shine a little light on my bullets. Quick, <laughs> get in there. Oh, no. no them. They ain't got nothing on me. I need to get rid of those. I know I said we may die on the hush fire. I didn't say we will die on the hush fire. I didn't want to sandbag this. I'm not like I'm intentionally going out of my way to do badly either. It's just that it's a blue baby run. And blue baby is hard. For me. As we started off by saying, as you've seen me do in previous runs, I can royally screw up a blue baby fight. As can everybody else, I'm sure. But I feel like Blue Baby has sort of a, a greater overlap with poor play than most other characters because it's so difficult to protect yourself. And this is a good position to be in because our incubuses are helping us out. Okay, 
in there. Run away. Good. Okay. What's happening? Good. Uh, I don't want that to go over there. <laughs> oh, I was going to push it, but we don't have time. We have to move. We have to move. Run away. Help. <laughs> Help. I'd like the game breaking bug to actually start changing things into spirit hearts, if that's alright. So I think I've seen the game breaking bug do exactly one thing so far, which is to change that rune into an HP, which is no fucking news. However, I would draw your attention to the fact that we just beat the hush. As Blue Baby taking one HP of damage before the hush fight. So we didn't actually get hit by hush just now, which I'm probably going to put on the calendar as, uh, you know, an achievement. I think I should have a trophy for just that. If I can not get hit by the hush on a blue baby run, then I should be able to not get hit by the hush. Uh, hello? Oh. On a lost run. If I can get not hit by the hush on a lost run, then we're golden. Now, so, uh, there's a, often a good chance of getting tinted drops on the cathedral, I've noticed, because of rooms like that. I'm very glad we picked up the nightlight for the hush fight, though. Slowing down those shots as they approached probably saved us a lot. Several times. If we can get a teleport card, I will definitely go to the curse room. If we can't, I definitely will not go to the curse room. It's pretty much directly predicated on being able to do that. I don't know how I survived that. Gonna, you know, <laughs> put it down to the fact that we had uh, the BFF orbitals at the right moment. Uh, help. Okay. Please be the blue baby fight. It is. It is. It is. It is. Careful. We don't want to die. This is as far as we're going, by the way, the Isaac fight. So, as far as I know, there's no way to bypass it. Because if you if you are not going down, you can't even use an AWAS room to do it. There's no sort of upwards equivalent of the AWAS room. We're doing a lot of damage, though. We're really climbing through Isaac at this point. Probably because of the charge shots with the incubuses. They're just you know, hitting like a train. You can see him doing it. Yep. Okay, we're done. So we will now go and fight some more rooms for a few extra points. We'll see if we can find... Let's look for the second secret room. It may have at least something entertaining in it. Oh, it's right there. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> it could have had something entertaining in it. I am thoroughly surprised that we're alive. One makes you small. That's nice. The Capricorn pickup gave us the size increase, by the way, if you were wondering. Because it's all stats up. And all is all. You know, it's not a it's not a debate. It's not a demo it's not democratic. We're not asking whether it's all stats or some stats. It's all stats, man. All is all. It is what it is. Uh, we should fight this, I guess. We've got our um, familiars ready, so let's do it. Two orbitals, second level binders girl, two incubodes, two dead monstros, and a dead Larry Jr. Why are you here? I haven't seen you since the first floor. Well, I saw you in Boss Rush. It was good to catch up. I do want to try and find Tinted Rock still. I mean, if I'm going to be doing all this extra exploration, we want the survivability that goes, that allows us to do it without worrying too much. I'm not overly concerned, you know, it's not like I'm going, well, should we, shouldn't we? But, I'm also slightly perturbed that we may. Oh, how many Daddy Long Legs fights in one fucking cathedral? Get bent, Daddy Long Legs. Killed them all though. It's not, not like they've caused us undue uh, harassment. This could be an opportunity. Oh, I was going to say this could be an opportunity to try using a uh, box of friends, but in fact, no, it's not. It's really not. Uh, yeah, some extra coins. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. I don't know what blind damage does. We picked up a long time. Oh, that's terrible. I'm going to blow these up just to see what's in them. I think we probably lost more than we gained. But, worth a try. Uh, oh fuck. I mean, we should do the room? For points? 
Let's use this, because then we get more shots on the screen and never envy falls apart much more quickly. We should also get rid of oh okay, some of the rocks in the middle. For a similar reason we want them to Oh, I can't shoot that, so I'm not going to. Oh, I did get hit. I was trying to be cocky and use my orbitals to get some damage done, but it just resulted in me taking damage, which is okay. It's the first damage we've taken since we decided to go on adventures around a cathedral. It's a new historical drama in the Discovery Channel. So Eye Shot, I think, makes a really slow moving shot, which is an eyeball, which itself shoots mini versions of your own shots. That's as far as I can tell, that's all I've got. We found the super secret room, so we're not going to try looking for it. And one more room. These are actually... <laughs> I'm actually one-shotting these thanks to the Incubus. Uh, although, prove me wrong, why don't you? Make a liar out of me, why don't you? Do we get points for using our... Uh, book, box of friends, do you think? So, we can go into and out of our curse room. We can gain from it nothing. And then we can go. Let's use our uh, two of diamonds, which should be kept faith faithfully with us. Uh, not what I want. And we'll use our box of friends for zero points. And we've done it. So I'm pretty proud of that, because that was a blue baby run, and we got in the top 300 th positions. You saw my last blue baby run died on like the fourth floor, so... Happy with that. Rush bonus. Where's my uh, Where's my boss rush bonus, please? Oh, 9999 nine, nine is obviously the two combined. Fair enough. Shrag bonus. We're still getting these 4,000, 5,000 damage penalties, and that's just me. But if I get all the way through a blue baby run without dying, then I've obviously taken less damage than my worst performance. So I'm obviously getting better at it. Well, thank you for watching. Do come back next time if you want to come back next time, and do have turned off 20 minutes ago if you don't. Until then, I will see you tomorrow.